My name is uh, KBM, uh, also known as Kenyan by Marriage. I am the host of This Is Africa. This Is Africa TIA, yeah, yeah TIA. Uh, not to be confused with This Is Africa, Anthony, Anthony and Bukwa. Welcome back to Mankili Banke YouTube channel. Elvis did it, the king of YouTube. Mad Diamond from the US. Hey, um, salut. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Manke Manke here once again with another video and I'm in the street of Bamburi Junction here. The road heading to Mtwapa and the road heading to town. So guys, today I'm heading to Mtwapa to meet a YouTuber. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you the name of the YouTuber, so guys, let's wait for Matatu so that we can go. So guys, I just found a matter to there. Guys, we just arrived in Trapa. Later, 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 later. So, guys, finally, I just reached here in Trapa and I met a fellow YouTuber here. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. So, yeah, my name is uh, KBM, also known as Kenyan by Marriage. I am the host of This Is Africa. This is Africa TIA. TIA yeah, yeah, TIA. Uh, uh, not to be confused with This Is Africa, Anthony, Anthony and Bukwa. He's another gentleman in uh, Nairobi. So we just have, happen to have the same channel name, but we're two different people and we're both doing African content. So, uh, yeah, that's who I am and oh. it's good to meet you. Yeah. All right. Nice meeting you too. Okay, I'll be, I'll be asking you some few questions. When, when did you first come to Kenya? Uh, 2006. It was... 2006. The 14th of July, 2006. Oh, Actually, no, no, no. The 7th of July, 2006. Wow. I got married on the 14th of July, 2006. Oh, to a Kenyan? Yes. Oh, that's yes. wonderful. Uh, yeah. So you have been staying in Kenya since then or? Uh, off and on. I come back and forth between oh. the U.S. and here. So, um, yeah, uh, me and my wife, we have some land here. Mm, wow, that's uh, nice. Outside of Nairobi. And, you know, we've been married uh, 15 years since uh, yesterday. Because, oh. you know, today's the 15th. And uh, yeah, so off and on, I'm back and forth. But the last time I was here was in 2019, and then last year, of course, we had the lockdown that yeah, Corona thing. Yeah, messed everything up. So, mm -hmm. so, so are you loving the the environment here in Kenya, the people and the culture? How, how is it? I grew up in Southern California, so the warm weather is actually my type of weather. Oh. Um, I don't live in Southern California back in the States. I actually live in, in Oregon, which is quite cold most of the year. Uh, not the coldest place in the country, but uh -huh. it is quite cold. Uh -huh. But anyway, um, coming back here is like kind of like coming home as far as the weather in California. Um, but it's definitely a different environment than California or anywhere else in the U.S. Uh, the people are great. Uh, people treat each other with much respect. I see the children yeah. actually honor their mother, mothers and fathers where in the U.S. Uh, children don't honor their mothers and fathers. Like, yeah. They really don't. Uh, you might have one in maybe 100,000 that do, but I mean, that's, that's, that's the rarity of it. Yeah. And it's quite sad, but... Um, what was the other part of the question? There was one more part. I, I, yeah, uh, but I think you have answered the question. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to ask you... Uh, where you're coming from but you just stayed from usa right right west california or south california or just california i was born and raised in southern california southern but california. I'm, I'm coming out of oregon which uh, is oregon. above california oh yeah that's good mm -hmm. so have you tasted some little kenyan food like ugali Definitely ugali, yeah. uh, pili pili, <laughs> uh, mukimo, mukimo, right, yeah. nyamachoma. Nyamachoma, it's the word. Yeah. <laughs> nyamachoma is really sweet. Uh -huh. <laughs> very sweet, very sweet. Um, the fruits here are, are wonderful. The mangoes are absolutely huge. Fresh. <clears throat> Fresh and yeah. huge. Uh, uh -huh. I've never seen mangoes so big, but 
Um, your avocados here avocado. are definitely big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's avocados all over the world, but they're usually small. But here, they're quite big, especially the ones in Kisi. Kisi, hey, yeah. you yeah. been to Kisi or you just had uh, Kisi? I, I've never been to Kisi, yeah. but my wife does business at a Kisi. Oh, so she, her and her partner actually sends uh, avocados to Imbakasi mm, and her. distributes them with the uh, sellers there. Yeah. So, but yeah, I've got to taste uh, the fresh fruits and vegetables out of Meru. Mm -hmm. You know, she's a Mer she's a Marian. Oh, wow. Um, she's originally from Nanyuki, so that's not very far away from Meru. Yeah, true. Yeah, so definitely I've eaten a lot of different foods, and I have to say that uh, when you eat fresh food, there's definitely a difference in weight loss almost yeah, immediately. Yeah, true, true, true. Totally true. Um, and if you don't eat the processed foods, I noticed that there's a lot more processed foods here lately, mm -hmm. in the past like five years, compared yeah. to, you know, 15 years ago. Yeah. So... Yeah, I I would recommend don't don't eat the processed foods, everybody. If you're here in Kenya, <laughs> yeah. just eat like you've been eating ever since you grew up. Trust the me. fresh from the farm, guys. And so you are currently in Mombasa. Is it your first time in Mombasa or? Uh, no. Me and my wife had our um, our honeymoon in Mombasa. Oh. Um, we stayed not too far from here at the next to the White Sands at the Sai Rock. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was a wonderful time. But yeah, this is my first time being back in Mombasa. First time in, was it, Mtwapa? Mtwapa. We are in Mtwapa. Okay. All right. Karibu so, yeah. Mombasa. Karibu Mombasa. <laughs> <laughs> so since you have stayed in Kenya for a while, do you know some few words of Kiswahili? Nafahamu uh, Kiswahili kidogo. Yeah, Najivunia kuwa. You know, Kenya. Kenya. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, Indio, Hapana. Asante. You know, asante, asante. Karibu. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I know that you're the you're the founder, or is the is it the founder or the owner or? I'm both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the founder of this is Africa YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So wh why 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 name your your YouTube channel this is Africa? Well, originally um, many years ago there was a um, a European mm -hmm. conglomerate, very big media company out of Poland, I believe, if I can remember right. And they have something, I don't want to say what they have because of the algorithm, but they have something going on here in Africa called This Is Africa, and they do a lot of things and that are not African, very un-African. Uh, so basically, I, at some point I wanted to combat that by taking that name, which, which is a very old name, by the way, and a lot of people use it for a lot of different things. But I wanted to combat the negativity that they were portraying on Facebook. I didn't know if I wanted to do this on Facebook or YouTube or what have you, yeah. but the thing is, is that um, mm -hmm. uh, I, I put it on hold because I wanted to find out what it is I wanted to do. And so in 2019, I said, you know what, let's go ahead and start using the name, This Is Africa, and just promote Africa in a positive yeah, light. Be, uh... Because back in 2006, when I got married, I got the idea of trying to find out more about Kenya, and I couldn't really find anything about you know, learning about Kenya from Kenyans. Yeah. There's always like uh, travel uh, websites from people in other places. So I created a website, thought of the idea in 2006, launched it in 2007 called meetkenyans.com. Oh, wow. Now, my website did get hacked. Um, if you go to Meet Kenyans right now, it's going to take you to my other YouTube channel called Meet Kenyans. Oh. But basically, with that website, the way I had it set up is that a Kenyan can submit a story that they want to tell. It wasn't an interview style. And I will go ahead and post that narrative, a Kenyan narrative, on meetkenyans.com. Mm -hmm. So with that idea, I kind of took that idea and brought it over to This Is Africa. So basically, um, I changed it a little bit that it's only going to be positive narratives. Mm -hmm. It's going to be anybody that's uh, African in Africa. It's not the diaspora, mm -hmm. unless they were born in Africa and living it's in the diaspora. True, right? true, true, true. Um, so I just I didn't want to limit, limit it to Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So guys, make sure you go and check out This Is African YouTube channel. I'm going to be leaving the link below the description box. By the way, I'm loving the, the camera that he has here. It's a GoPro with the mic here and some ulinzi things here, guys. So guys, make sure you check out the Africa. This Is Africa YouTube channel. I'm going to leave the link below the description box. And thank you so much for letting me interview. You're welcome. And uh, I appreciate it. And I'm, I'm glad to be here. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. We're going to end the video here. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. Cheers.